All right, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can assign participants. Now, I'm going to use the example of a Google Classroom, and I had previously set this up. This is my Meet link or my lookup, and I have three rooms based off of nicknames. Now, I'm going to go over here. I can open it up directly in the extension, or I can call it up directly in the Google Classroom. So I'm going to use the Google Classroom method. And I will go ahead and run it. So I'll go inside, and here we go. Uh, this is a new one, so uh, because I opened it up through Google Classroom, I need to go over here and I will sync it. Here we go, I got the message, I'm synced. Now, let's just say that I wanna go ahead and uh, assign participants to these different breakouts. Um, this, this is an example using codes, right? So codes are all specific to a particular organization. Now, what I'm using here is my own I personally purchased a Google Suite account, and so this is named my organization, NTNU Robert, all right? And so I purchased two students, two users, uh, two additional users. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate these uh, students coming into this room right here. So I have uh, two adjacent computers, and because they're right next to each other and I want to avoid feedback, I'm turning off the speaker. All right, and I won't use the microphone on the students here. Uh, so I'll go ahead and I will uh, show, you know, pretend that there are students uh, coming on in. So uh, let me get that working. Let's see, did that work? Okay, so I should have, a, Alejandro coming in right now. So I'll join it. All right, there's Alejandro. It's really me. All right, and so Alejandro is in, and then I'll have the other student uh, enter as well. Only the teacher needs to have the extension installed. The, the students can have it installed if they want to, but that's not necessary. The students might like the uh, color schemes and so on, but uh, there's no there's no need to require them to install it uh, let's see all right I typed that in wrong oh you know what let me, uh, sorry let me let me do a better example because 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 uh, I have these students in the same Google classroom so Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna exit out. All right. I'm gonna do this uh, really officially the way it would work. So I have a Google Classroom right here, and I have two students. All right. So the two students are gonna go to their the same Google Classroom. What magic? And uh, the first one here, Alejandro, is going to go click on that link, the lookup link, the meet link. And this Alejandro should come in right now. Okay, great. Let's take a look here. Yeah, Alejandro came in. How did he come in? He came in through Google Classroom. He, he just clicked on that link. All right, now the second person coming in is Travis. Now Travis is coming in. Oh. All right, I had to turn off the I had to turn off the microphone because I had these two computers, three computers right next to each other. So uh, they they're feeding back into each other. Actually, you know, this is remote learning. They're going to be in different physical locations, so you would not have multiple computers right next to each other. <clears throat> where the speaker of one goes into the microphone of the other. All right, so here we go. Uh, I have two students. Now, that's good enough to show you in concept how this whole thing works. So I uh, have the assigned breakout, so I'm going to go down here. And remember, this is very interesting because 
Uh, everything is based off of nicknames. Everything. Everything's going to be based off of nicknames. And I will assign the rooms also based off of nicknames. All right, so here we go. We're going to follow the instructions. Just overall, in Google Meet, students cannot be pushed into uh, breakout rooms. They, this is democracy, <laughs> friends. Okay, so they have to go ahead and, and uh, voluntarily enter it. All right, now we'll go to the next, uh, just read through this. We're going to, you, can, you can assign them different ways. I had three rooms uh, available for breakouts. Why? Uh, because I chose three here. I chose three here. All right, so it all depends on the number you choose. If I chose five, I wanted to show you this. So I, I'm gonna refresh this, go back in, I should see five, all right? So if you don't see the, the, the number of rooms that you want, or you have too many or too few, then you just uh, take a look at this setting right here. So it's all based off of this. If you make a change, then just uh, close it and open it. All right, so here we go. These are the three rooms and these are my uh, students. This is me and also my students. Now, why am I appearing? I'm appearing because I have this extension installed right here. So this is the uh, grid view extension, uh, parentheses fix. I, I found that works really well. All right, now I'm appearing because I said include myself in the grid. All right, and there are a couple of things that can happen. One thing that can happen is you don't see any students at all. Usually that's because you're not synced, all right? I think this whole sync is a process that's working a lot faster, will work a lot faster now because you just click on that and you, and you go ahead and sync up. All right, and the only, so that's what that is. Now, it, that's if you don't see any students at all. In other words, you wouldn't even see your random button. Now, if you don't see, um, if you see some but not all, if you don't see all of your students, then you can click here and it'll give you some help and the, um, the basic message here is, uh, has to do with the uh, layout. Now, if you, have, uh, if you have this installed, then you should be fine, all right? This uh, grid view, uh, parentheses fix, that you should be fine. If you have fewer than 16 students always, then you don't need this, and you can uh, go ahead and just use the normal tile format right here. Now, I had to say this. Uh, this whole thing is, is what you see is what you get. So if you don't see all of your students here, then double check and see what you see displayed here. All right. If you see uh, a parentheses like, you know, maybe there's 20, uh, but only dis displaying 16 or so, then that means that you don't have this thing on. This is deactivated. If you have a slash here, that means it's deactivated. Make sure it's on. Make sure it's on. So th this is a toggle switch. So just click it and then you're on. Okay, great. And um, now we're going to go ahead. Oh, let's see. What else did I say? For Google Classroom users, this is just another um, message. I, I want to get the word out for Google Classroom users. Uh, and all that's saying is, you, I, I need you to do this, please. You know, just p copy your lookup in there, and, which I did in this example. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, randomly assign. So I can just click, click, click. If I don't want to participate, I just single click on my name. And then it, that's a toggle. All right. And uh, the next time I hit randomly sign, I'll go to the left. I can always uh, uh, you know, turn that back on again. And I, and I could actually move somebody to the left physically. All right. But uh, let's just say I've got it right here. And maybe, uh, okay, I don't have that many examples. Students here in my uh, personal account. But uh, we have Travis and Alejandro. Okay, so you, you want to move people. You can move people around uh, physically. You can certainly do that. All right, now we're gonna move on to the next step. So it says click here once you have the assignments the way you want them. I'll say I, I like it and I'll click here. Now, this is uh, two steps, step two and step three. This is uh, really important. This is, this is how it all works. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click here and it copies to your uh, clipboard. And uh, this is uh, lists the address for your rooms. Now you'll notice I'm using codes here, R1, R2, R3. There's, this is not the actual physical URL for the meet. This is a code. Now the only person that can resolve that code and you know decode that code, yeah, uh, sorry, nickname. These are all nicknames. So the only uh, person that can uh, res you know, resolve what that nickname is to, to its meet URL is somebody that's in this organization. All right, so that we're fine to go ahead and copy this. Uh, I'm going to I'll copy it to my clipboard, and then I'm going to go to the chat, and then I'm just going to paste it in here, right there. Oops. 
And there we go. Now this is one half of the story. The first half of the story is these are the addresses to the rooms. And again, these are the addresses using nicknames, using nicknames. The only person that can use that nickname is, is somebody that's within the same organization. Now the second half of the story is who is in what room. In other words, who is in what group. And you'll click this, all right, and then you'll paste that in. There you go. So let's just say I'm, I'm Alejandro, all right. Now, let me make sure that I have all these other rooms open, and I don't think I do. Let me just go, go here and open up all my rooms, and I'll, I'll tile it in just one second. Good. All right, so these are all the, the rooms. Good. All right, we're in great shape, and I'm just going to retile it. Okay, so we've got them all. Set up here, let's just make sure, yeah, room one, two, three. And uh, you can see down at the bottom, uh, I'll choose a different color scheme so it's easier to see the uh, nickname. So there it is, R1, R2, R3, great. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here. All right, so we need to go back to this spot. Now, uh, this, this is all pasted in the chat. And Alejandro is going to see this, so is Travis, and you know I'll see it as well. Uh, so what Alejandro is going to do is he's going to go look inside his room right here, and he's going to see, uh, that's on my computer right next to me. He's going to take a look here, and he says, okay, all right, all right, I'm in room number one. So what he's going to do is, I'm going to show you on my computer here, he will click on this link. That's what he's going to do right here, and I'm simulating Alejandro right now. So, so Alejandro is clicking on that, and that... Um, Nickname is going to get resolved into a uh, a meet URL, and there we go. Uh, let me turn off my microphone and video for Alejandro, and there he is. He appears right away. Okay, so that works very smoothly. And then uh, let's go with Travis. Travis is going to look inside his chat, <clears throat> and what does his chat looks like? Look like it looks exactly like this. So Travis sees that he's in room number two, and what's the address for room number two? It's that, that link. So he's gonna click on that link, and I'm gonna simulate Travis doing that right now. And Travis is gonna join it. So then, okay, there we go. Travis is in uh, uh, room number two. So all your students will follow this method, and, it's, and, and I can tell you just from my own personal experience when I, you know, put this together and I taught using this. Uh, this part works very smoothly. I mean, all the students know how to click on links and they, they recognize their name and so on. <coughs> if you have multiple students uh, per room, this would just be comma, comma, comma. You'd say Alejandro, comma, blah, 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 all the way on out. And uh, so you, you would see the groups that way. Now, one other thing I want to point out is that there is a 500 character limitation to what you can paste in one single, uh, one single uh, fell swoop, all right, uh, one, in the chat box, in the chat room. So it, it, I tell you right here, this is only 84 characters, there's a 500 character limit, there's only 67. If I had a lot of people here, and actually I don't really need a lot, I mean, you, it, you maybe like 12 students and you'll, you'll bump up against it or so. Now, if that happens, then you'll see a note that says I'm over 500 and I take away the uh, button to automatically copy it to the pasteboard. Why? Because it, at that point you'll need to just do the uh, old school method and you'll just you know pick a number of rooms. You'll just pick like a number of rows, like say five rows and paste it in there. If you, if you paste the same row in twice, it's no big deal because it, this is just informing the students of what room they're in and, and likewise with this as well. You just uh, copy and paste that. So. That part's pretty easy. If you're over 500, the, this uh, pop-up will tell you exactly what to do. It'll tell you exactly what to do. All right, so that's it on how you could do the assignments. I simulated the assignments. I only had two students because, uh, you know, just a limitation on my own, you know, personal account here. Uh, yeah, and... Um, and away you go. Uh, but I wanted to show it with nicknames. Now, I, I, in the past, I was showing examples with um, uh, incognito mode, but that, that will not work. That will not work with um, uh, nicknames. See, nicknames, you all have to be, you have to be within, the same, within the same organization. So that's why I went ahead and, and uh, bought these two students, you know, so I could just show you 
that nicknames do work if you have students within your same organization. All right, now we're going to move on to uh, the next section, which is assigned breakouts uh, pre-signed. And I, I'm going to combine that here in just one video. But no, I, I, okay. I, okay, so I'm going to have a separate video for that.